everyone, welcome back to another Monday Plan With Me. So I'm planning from 11th of September through to the 17th and I'm not going to be doing a speed through voiceover, I'm just going to be planning as we go along. And the kit that I'm using today is actually a new one that will be up in my shop by the time you guys are watching this. Uh, this is my new kit here, it's called the Bullet Journal Kit, let me just zoom you in a little bit so you can see. So it's called the Bullet Journal Kit and I was definitely inspired because I've been wanting to do a bullet journal for so long and I just know that I'm not going to have enough time to keep it kind of updated all the time. So I decided to design a kit to fulfil my needs of wanting to do a bullet journal. So because this is bullet journal themed, obviously there's not a lot of colour in here and it's all kind of hand drawn and sketchy if you like just to try and make it look as close to a bullet journal as I could. But these are your four boxes here. Then you've also got six half boxes, two appointment labels, a movie marquee, two bill dues, two habit trackers and two weekly boxes. And then here you've got your checklists. And then I've decided to do my headers a, li oh, a little bit different. So I've put all of the littles down into two lines and I've split the headers up into four boxes. So there's four different colours here. You've also got six uh, heart checklists, which I don't usually have in my kit, but I decided to add them in the bottom there. And then here you've got a cancelled nope and reschedule as well as a short to buy list. On this one I've actually done date covers this time and I was so pleased because I love date covers in kits and I really love these because it kind of just goes with the whole theme and pulls it all together nicely. You've also got your weekend banner, I've made the icons a little bit smaller and they're kind of like on ink droplets which I thought was so cool to have them as a bullet journal theme. You've also got some smaller deco down here, a coffee label, a tidy up banner and this one right here is a hydrate sticker so a lot of people like to track that they are drinking enough so here what you do is once you've drunk enough for the Monday then you colour the Monday in, in blue Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and you kind of fill up the jar it's like a little mason jar and I kind of think that's adorable then down here I've given two extra appointment labels one says order and one says remember if you guys can see that right there and then here beside it there are three more appointment labels in three different colours as well as four small page flags and Four larger page flags and then the last page is your washi strips I've also put in another full box right here in case you guys want a quote so I know a lot of people like to put quotes up in this corner so I thought I would just add another one in there and your bottom washi I've done on the bullet journal kind of dotted paper that you see and then I've just made a hanging group of Polaroid pictures with some poppets on and some plants as well. So that is the kit that I'm using. So by the time you guys are watching this on the Monday, let me zoom you back out, then this will be up in my shop all ready for you to go. So I'm going to start with the bottom washi as I always do and I'm thinking that the bottom is kind of okay, it's got a little bit of green on there and there's some green in the kit so I'm thinking I might leave that and just do the washi along the top. So this plan with me is definitely going to be a little bit longer than usual. Actually I might trim this washi before I put it on just so it doesn't overhang and go in the way of my date covers. So let me just grab my scissors quick. And we're doing a voiceover. <laughs> I decided that I would speed it up and do a voiceover because the video was going to be like 30 minutes long and I do watch some people that don't plan in fast motion and I can sit there and watch it for half an hour but I just could not sit there and listen to my voice while I was editing. I thought I was literally going to bore you guys. So all I done was trim my washi down with my scissors and then I'm just using my new date covers. I'm so excited that I've done these and I'm just going to put them all the way along the top. I have left, I haven't put any date dots or the number dots in because I've drawn like a little sketch pad and then you can just write what the date is in there. And once I've done that, we can go in day by day. I didn't zoom in too far this time, so we're going to keep it at a nice distance. I'm going to start just with my today header and then a half box to mark down that I wanted to upload this plan with me. I've also tried to keep all of the boxes as close to a bullet journal as I could, so they're all kind of different decorated boxes. And I just used a happy poppet because it makes me happy to film and upload these plan with me's. 
Underneath I put a quarter box and this is a new freebie that I've designed which you will now be getting with your orders and it's got a little Etsy square on there which was kind of perfect. Next I put a to do header and then a heart checklist although everything's kind of changed now because yesterday I went out and I bought a brand new carpet for my living room because we've been decorating so that's actually being delivered today and being fitted today so I doubt if I'm going to get any of my to do's done but I will figure that out later in the day. I put down a full box and instead of a little headers, I've put little bits because I kind of thought that was cute. So under my little bits section, I've got two TV programs on, which is Scandal and Marvel Defenders. For Tuesday, I started with a today header and then I put down one of these remember quarter boxes because I've got delivery of some carpet samples today. Not that it matters because I've actually just gone and brought a carpet. So for my full box I put down the blue one and then I took one of these plain watercolour swatches from my shop and just put one on top that I flipped up onto its side because I wanted to spend the morning designing new stickers and I wanted to block off a lot of time. I also zoomed in a little bit more because I know some of you liked it zoomed in a little bit more last week so I remembered and zoomed in a tiny bit more. I put down a green appointment label and I know I've just designed a new freebie but I kind of want to design another one so that way when you order from my shop then hopefully you'll get different stickers every time so I thought it would just be nice instead of getting the same one every time. I used the grid looking half box because I need to do a full food order and the pop it there is from the home life sheet with the shopping basket and a shopping list. I use one of the Build You stickers because I obviously have a Build You this day. I put down my Little Bits header and I have two TV programs on on this day. One is Marvel Defenders and the other one is Deadliest Catch. We used to watch Deadliest Catch ages ago and then we kind of stopped watching it so we were going to try and get back into it. And at the bottom my children have got homework to do as they are back at school. So I just used one of the plain watercolour swatches and wrote homework. And then if you guys are wondering what pen I'm using, it's the Papermate Inkjoy in 1.0. So for Wednesday, we are halfway through the week, so I'm going to treat myself and have a coffee in the morning before I even start anything. And then I've got some important emails to send, so I was going to be doing that while I was having my coffee. And then I also have got to do some more print and cutting. I need to do kind of a restock of my poppets because you guys have been really liking them and I just need to do a big restock. So I just used two pieces of patterned washi with a little small page flag and just write print and cut. I also realized that I hadn't put my today header in so I quickly just put that in at the top before putting down my to-do header and I've got a few things that I needed to buy so I thought I would just use the short to buy checklist and I just need to buy some marble paper, some fabric and the little material tacks, I'm not sure what you call them but they're like little nails that you tack the material on because I'm re-upholstering a couple of things. I used a full box here and then I moved on to my little bits header and all I had on really for a TV program was Scandal because I kind of want to get this season over with and then I think I've only got one more after this which is kind of exciting. So I was also going to be having a YouTube binge which is also one of the stickers on the freebie sheet. So flipping over to Thursday I have got a payday and I wasn't sure whether to use the payday from the freebie sheet because it's a pop it rolling in money which is so cute or using the page flag payday from my kit which is the one that I actually ended up going for and I just used a piece of patterned washi behind it. Then I was just choosing what half box to use because it's uh, Phil's birthday which is my sister's husband's birthday so I needed to mark that down and also use a birthday pop it because... I have to use birthday poppets on every birthday. Then I just moved on to my to-do section. So I put down a to-do header and then used one of the checklists because I haven't actually used them yet. There are two different types. There's this one that looks like it's been taped onto a board. And there's also one with like a clip, like a proper, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Clipboard clip, that's the one. So I've got a few things that I needed to get done and then I left the rest plain because I will probably fill them out throughout this first half of the week as I get going. I put down a full box and then just for the little bits I put that down and realised I didn't actually have any TV programmes on so I used one of these school graduation caps just to mark down homework. 
For Friday, I started with my Today header and I'm going to have a big tidy up on this day. So on the kit, there is a tidy up banner, which I just used with one of the poppets from my home life sheet. And I just used the one with an apron on because it's so cute and adorable that I wanted to use that one. So underneath my tidy up section, I just went back and used another clipboard checklist just to write down everything that I wanted to tidy up. Friday is also my new release date in my shop and I realised I hadn't marked that down. So instead of using a half box, I actually used a movie marquee because although it's not a movie, it's kind of a special thing. I like new release day. So I used two pieces of patterned washi and then put the movie marquee in and just wrote down new release. After that I put down my full box and then on top of my full box I put one of the large happy poppets because I love Fridays, Fridays are my favourite. And then I put down my little bits and I just have a TV programme on which is Scandal. So for the weekend I was deciding whether to put washi behind the weekend banner or whether to leave it plain and I couldn't decide so I just went ahead and put down my today headers first and then I actually decided to put the two full boxes at the top and use them as a background behind the weekend banner. And then while I was taking the weekend banner off of the sheet, I kind of ripped the end a little bit. It seems to be a thing now, I keep messing up stickers. I've done it last week and I've done it this week, but hopefully next week I will have no ripped stickers. Maybe I'm being too hard, I need to be a little bit more gentle. So for the Saturday, um, my partner is working, so I just marked that down with a half box. And then my daughter is also going out and I needed to write down what time it was, but I'm not actually sure what time it is. I need to check with her before I write it in. And I also want to go through and vacuum the entire house, so I just used one of the vacuum poppets from the Home Life Sheet. Then I put down my to-do header and a small checklist. And then because I'm talking to you guys as I'm going along, I actually stuck my um, checkbox in the one way round, but I just filled it out anyway, although it does really irritate me and I do come back and I change it. Then underneath, I just put one of the littles, which has got like a little circle and a cross on, just to remind myself I had to do something on that day, which I will fill in later. And then for Sunday, I put down my to-do header with another checklist, but this is where I go back and change that one because it didn't match the other ones in my spread and they were all on that page so I kind of had to have it the same. So I just used one of the blue checklists and just rewrote everything that I wanted to get done on that day. Then I go back to the Sunday and I actually put down my checklist the right way and filled out everything that I usually do on a Sunday which is all things for school to get things ready as the children go back to school on the Monday. So it's really boring stuff, it's just like ironing the uniforms, polishing the shoes, that kind of thing. Boring, I told you. Then I didn't really have that many plans left for the Sunday, apart from obviously I wanted to film next week's plan with me, so I just used a piece of patterned washi and a half box which I flipped up onto its side and just wrote down plan with me. And then I used a little poppet with a cup of tea because I've been drinking lots of tea lately, so I just put that down there. Then we're going to go and do the sidebar, so I just zoomed you out and then I'm going to zoom you back in, I'm not sure why i done that. And then I was deciding on the two different full boxes that I had left, but I really liked this grid pin board. I don't know if anybody has seen them, they're kind of all over Pinterest, I kind of want one in my house. So I decided to use that one and I used two pieces of patterned washi just to extend it a little bit so it covered all of the calendar in the top corner. Underneath I put a habit tracker. I also put a next week header along with a clipboard checklist because if I don't have a next week section I kind of lose where I am and I'm not organised for the next week. And then at the bottom I wanted to track to dinners so I meant to use one of the weekly boxes and I completely forgot so I just used another clipboard checklist and then put the header dinners down and then I was deciding what to fill in that gap with and this half box kind of fitted perfectly and it's the notes one so it looks like notes paper that you can just jot down any notes throughout the week. Then I was going to go through and just add a few of the deco so I added some on the corner of the boxes because I kind of thought that was cute and I also realised that I hadn't used the water tracker sticker so even though it's kind of weird I put it down on Wednesday just because I like the look of it on that full box as a background. I also added some more of the plant deco down at the bottom because I didn't want to cover up any of the Polaroid pictures that were on the top washi, I kind of left it all along the bottom area. 
And then for the slightly bigger deco, which says, be happy, I decided to put that on the weekend, and I think I put it on the Saturday on the bottom of the full box. And because I hadn't used any of the smaller icons, I just went through and added some that was kind of relevant to whatever I had written. So I'd used the film slate on the upload plan with me, and a couple of other bits I just kind of put here and there because I realised that I hadn't actually used any. And then when I was finished doing that, all I'd done was filled in the dates along the top. And I didn't film a close-up of this week's spread because I was kind of talking to you guys and it wasn't going to be a speed through. I forgot to do that. But I did show you what I've got left from my kit. I do have a few stickers left and because they're not overly colourful, I think they'll go with most any other kits because there's no major colours which is good so I'll definitely keep hold of those but if you liked this week's spread then make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next week bye guys